Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we saw the basic concept of the union transformation. Today, today we'll be taking a look at an example of the transformation. We need to create a mapping to populate employees table from multiple inputs which are employees 1 and employees 2 table with the help of union transformation. So let's create the source tables first and connect to the ODBC source connection test one we log into the system using the HR username and password expand this go to the tables and get the SQL query for the create statement of the employees table now create exact rep replica with the name of employees underscore one execute this and create another table exactly the same employees underscore two okay. now we need to populate the two source tables so for insert into sorry employees underscore one select steric from employees where department id department underscore id equal to 50 let's execute this it failed okay i've written 1d so we need to make it as id execute this okay there you go 45 rows have been inserted into the table now we need to populate employees too so employee 2 table should contain department id 80 rows and 34 rows have been loaded into it so let's see the data in the two, two new tables select steric from employees underscore one and there you have it 45 rows with all the department id 50 and for employees 2 34 rows with department id 80 in them so now let's move on to the informatica power designer power center designer and create the mapping for this union transformation connect to the repository with the username administrator and password oracle open the trainings folder here we create a new mapping called m underscore employees underscore union let's bring in the two new sources that we just created so import from database hr 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 connect expand this and select the two new tables employees one and two click ok and there you have it now let's bring them in the new mapping that we just created so employees one and to come here arrange them all there you go now bring in the target which will be the employees target table okay now we need to bring in a new union transformation between them it should be with a big u there it is okay now bring it over here let's edit its properties double click on it rename it to un underscore employees click ok in the group support tab add a new one oh i'm sorry we need to bring in the group boards from the one of the source tables so let's take these from employee one and drag and drop them over here now here you can see that the output port has been populated and the input port is populated from the input table so let's go to the group ports and here you can see that we cannot edit them but we have all the group ports now we need to add new groups so let's add the first one as employees underscore one which already is there we just renaming it and for the new input group we name it as employees underscore two in the properties tab it is selected as is active and nothing else needs to be set over here in the ports tab you can see that the output port are only output columns and the input ports there are two groups for the input ports so let's save this and 
populate the employees to input port for the unit transformation from the other source and there you have it you can see that the employees too has been populated now the output ports need to populate the output table for the employees target table select all the output ports and bring them in to the target table and that was it a simple mapping for the union transformation has been created you need to save your work before creating the workflow and sessions now <clears throat> let's go to the workflow manager over here create a new mapping called wf underscore employees underscore union bring in a new session for the mapping that we just created click ok link start to the session rename it and select the fail point of task fails select the right backward compatibility log file for source connection select HR and for the target connection select target now in the config objects scroll down set save session log as 5 and stop on errors as 1 in the mappings tab given the dollar source as the source connection variable and for the other one given dollar source as well in the targets given dollar target and union transformation nothing is to set over here click apply okay save your work and let's run the workflow and see what happens it's running uh oh it failed and the reason is that in the workflow manager in the session properties we have selected normal we need to select normal as the load type because it has a key defined on the table and bulk load does not support keys okay so let's rerun it now and it's running there you have it succeeded with 79 rows loaded to the target table 45 taken from one table 34 taken from another table union all done and all the rows have been inserted now in the session log we can see that we're inserting into the employees table <clears throat> it tells us how many rows were taken from each of the source qualifiers which were 45 and 34 and all the 79 rows were loaded into the target table so let's move on to the target database to see the data that has been loaded by the transformation mapping connect to the test one connection with the username target and password target as well select steric from employees and there you have it all the data for the employee 50s and employees 80s so uh, this was the example of union transformation i hope you have a better understanding of it so in the next videos we'll take a look at another example of transformations that are used in informatica power center designer till then thank you for staying with us take care of yourself and bye bye